when you look back at the, the recent game against Melbourne, is it, uh, what do you take out of that? Yeah, great game of footy, uh, high intensity, uh, uh, should have finished better, uh, happy with some really good moments at different times to, to take on the game, um, but want improvement tomorrow night. Does it teach you anything or is it just too different to what you're facing now? No, it always, you always learn something. That's what round games are for picking up points and for learning something about oppositions and yourself. So, uh, yeah, you never miss an opportunity there. Um, but then you also restart your game tomorrow night. Um, uh, it'll be a different flavour, different players. So uh, attack it uh, in a, in a, with a very similar attitude, but be ready to adapt on the run as well. So, yeah, looking forward to a new game. Yep. How much concern is it over him? Obviously, if he gets another head knock, it'd be a huge worry. I mean, you've obviously played it safe with him, but is there a, a real concern? No, there's not. It's, that's why we're taking our time, because we don't want it to be uh, uh, ongoing. Um, I guess we had the experience of Luke Keary last year, and you can see how Luke's playing and training and performing. Um, and, you know, we've made a decision to take uh, the six weeks that we took with uh, with Luke last year. Um, so that'll be another couple of weeks out. Um, from the expert advice, uh, we feel like we've been getting that that's the right length. So uh, uh, that'll be another couple of weeks out and he's back running and training with us. So uh, we'll focus on uh, getting him ready uh, and getting him healthy, uh, ready to play again. What, what are the issues with him at training? Is he, is he showing signs that it's still not He's not completely yeah, there's a, a, a bit of, uh, yeah, there's a, look, there's, it's hard to, for me to talk about the medical side of it, about, you know, the, there's some things there that go on that, that, that just have to get realigned, and it was the same with, uh, that we had last year. Um, so just, it takes about between four and eight weeks to realign that um, from all the research, um, from the stuff that we know. So we're just going to take that time. Uh, make sure he's fully recovered. Um, you know, as I said, he's back running. He trained on Sunday, um, but we want to we want to make sure we want to be sure we want to look after Boyd and we want to make sure he's ready to go for the rest of the season. Brent, uh, Brent how's it again? Sorry, Danny. Kyle Flanagan um, is on your reserves again this week. You've opted for Mocky Lamb. It is a Mocky Lamb's jersey to lose now. Well, I think, I mean, you guys asked me that this last week. Uh, yeah, Lockie uh, is in the number seven jersey and it's a good competition for that. We've got two young guys that are, you know, that have really worked hard in, in their early career. Um, and, you know, uh, and I thought Lockie played well last week. Um, so that was, uh, that was his jersey last week and it is this week and they'll, they'll keep... Uh, Working hard for the team, and 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 I'm looking forward to watching Lockie play again tomorrow night. He's shown great perseverance, hasn't he? Obviously, you recruited Kyle Flanagan to the club, and, and he came in and he showed great signs over the opening um, 10, 12 weeks of the comp. But you know, Lockie had the chance to go join his dad in uh, the UK earlier this year. You wanted him to stay, and um, I guess he's he's paying dividends now. Yeah, we've had lots of conversations over the last few years. Um, He's a, he's a local kid and he loves the Roosters, absolutely loves the Roosters. And he's had opportunities to go, uh, but he doesn't want to go. He wants to stay and, and, and wants to fight uh, for his position. Uh, and then we obviously bought over the top of him in Kyle um, to come and, and, and do a role. Uh, and that spurred him on even more. He didn't, didn't drop his bottom lip. He said, I'm going to work harder. It wasn't, he, he wasn't going to wait for an opportunity, he was going to go and grasp one, and, uh, and that's what he did as well. Uh, and that's what you want. You want really good um, competition, uh, but in the best interest of the team as well. And there's reports that he's re-signed for the next couple of years. Is that right? Has he re-signed with the Roosters for the next couple of years? Yeah, I, I don't know if he's re-signed, but it was, um, we talked about it a while ago. Uh, and I'm actually not sure on the finer details, but yeah, that, that was done a while ago. 
um, talking about it and discussing it. Sorry, Bernie, I missed the first. Uh, sorry, uh, it's Sonny Bill Wiggins. Um, have you uh, spoken to him lately? And what's the situation? Is he signing a deal when he gets out of isolation, or is he, has he already put pen to paper for the rest of the year? No, all that's all been done. So he gets out Thursday night. Uh, all of that's been, all of that's been done, and he'll be ready to, to join us on the weekend. And uh, when you expect, uh, I don't know, expect Flavio before the Canberra game, and what do you expect from him? How do you, how do you intend to use him? Is it off the bench or just? Uh, uh, Bernie, I'd like to keep those private, the, the conversations between Sonny and I about the way that we'll use him. Um, we've had lots of discussions and then we'll start to see him move uh, and, and how he connects with the guys around him. And then that'll give us even a further idea about how we're going to use him. What's the, what's the key to getting him? What do you think that he's, he's most valuable? He's obviously, he's 35, but he still looks like he's got the build of a 25-year-old. I mean, what, what, are you, what are you hoping he brings most to the club? Look, we can talk about all his, his attributes um, and people can see them. Uh, it's the courage he has to play footy. That's, that's the biggest one. Around all the talents that you see, uh, the man's got a fire in him, he's got a hunger to perform and, and he loves playing in a team environment. Vulnerable, I guess, to you without those two big guns in? Yeah, Melissa, it doesn't, it, it makes no difference on either team who's in or who's out. Um, for us, uh, yeah, we're really excited about playing tomorrow night. You know, you pull on the jersey, you attack the opposition in the way that you want to play, uh, the way that you think they're vulnerable, and, and we want to do that. We, we, we know how we want to play, we're confident about. Uh, our style and we want to go out there tomorrow night um, and play that. Um, yeah, sort of players in, in and out, it's been like that for, you know, for probably the last six or eight weeks. Um, so it has no significance to how we're going to play. Trent, I read a couple of stories about um, Kyle and uh, why he was out of the side and why lock them in. Was it a player-driven thing? Is that is that accurate, or is that where it stands? Is that why you made the change? Not one bit. Not one bit. I don't. I haven't read those, Danny. But it's not even close to that. Um, that was. Uh, it was purely on what I was sort of seeing over the last month of footy. Talked to Kyle about some things I really wanted to work on. I wanted to give Lockie the opportunity to to push into that position. It's as simple as that. Tavita Pangai, uh, yeah, he's been having chats with Nick apparently. Uh, is he a player you want at the Roosters? No, nah, he won't be at the Roosters, Danny. Not the sort of bloke you need, or you just don't, that's not, not your sort of player? Oh, look, it's not, you know, I don't know what's going on up there, but um, we've worked really hard, I think, as you can see, for the, the type of player that we want. Um, and, you know, he's not going to fit that mould. Trent, as a senior coach, um, I mean, are you on social media and, and do you feel for a, a fellow coach like Anthony Stebold? And I mean, do the coaches sort of rally around each other when, you know, the week that he's had, I guess, and the circumstances that he's in? I think the good thing is I'm not on social media. Uh, Melissa, that's a, a really, uh, that's a benefit for anybody in life, I think, if, you've, if anybody tries it. Um, the... Uh, yeah, the life of a coach is, uh, is different. You, you love footy, you want to coach attack and defence and you want to manage men and then uh, the modern world as it moves into uh, other areas as we know, the background of people's personal lives and stuff. Um, yeah, leave that alone. Speculation and that doesn't help anybody involved. So, uh, yeah. You know, if people at, at, at their place think that they need to discuss all that, then that's important. But, you know, just stay out of it. Hey, Trent, Trent, you're, um, go, Danny. Trent, you were obviously a big part of the Apollo uh, and you, you got to know Wayne or you, got, you were 
post with Wayne over that. Were you um, surprised or disappointed at, at his actions, given that the rules are in place for uh, obvious reasons? Oh, no, I didn't, you know, uh, two things. I think, you know, people make choices um, based on the rules. And, you know, there's the people are going to cross them or not at different times. Um, and that's their choice. Um, but I think as we've seen, it's, uh, we're really lucky to be playing. Protocols are really harsh. Um, they're really tough at times uh, on, on the, the group of players and staff. They're really restrictive, um, but we have to adhere to them to keep playing. Um, so whilst you don't always agree with them, you, you have to stick to them. I don't know if you've seen Trent, but over in the Super League, there's a host of Hull players that um, have tested positive and other coaching staff overnight. Right. So is, is that a reminder? I mean, their competition, you know, already on its knees, could be in chaos. We've, we've spoken, you know, the leaders of our game have spoken about the importance of players and coaches inside the bubble sticking to it. Is that a reminder that we need that, that you know, if, it, if a handful of players or one um, test positive, it, it could change the game and yeah. on average time? Yeah, Zach, it's really important. Like, obviously, there's a lot more cases over there. But just let's have a think. You know, a, a, a team um, comes into contact or gets um, tested positive. What does our competition look like? What are, what are our daily lives look like um, uh, for the rest of the year? We need to finish this competition financially uh, for players and staff and everybody that works in an office. We need to, to, to continue to play. Um, so the restrictive nature of the protocols for 50 people for, um, for the next three months, uh, we have to do it. And I guess, you know, you've been over there the last couple of years as part of the World Club Challenge. It, it, it'll impact the, the international game, I guess, if, if things get even worse over there with the Super League. Yeah, it's hard to see the future, Zach. It's hard to see what's going to happen there. But, you know, that competition needed to get up and running as well. Um, the television rights are really important in the way that they run the game with Sky and, and other areas. And it's, uh, yeah... Um, it's 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 going to be tough if uh, depending on what what's going to happen there. Obviously, with Toronto being out now, if Hulla has to be out for a period of time, they're trying to play a lot of games in a short period of time. It's um, yeah, it's going to be have to be well managed. Trent, you've obviously still got a number of injuries, you know, point aside. Can you give us an update on Jared and Josh and Brett Marshall? Yeah, Pam, look, you know, I've, my thing is, is they're not here this week. They're getting close. Um, but, yeah, my focus is really, you know, we've, we've talked about a fair bit of stuff, but, you know, going out there on the SCG tomorrow night with the 17 that we've got, that's what counts. Uh, those guys will be back in the next week or two, uh, most of them. Uh, so uh, we look forward to getting them back. But the 17 that are going out there tomorrow night, they're the ones that really count. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get them out there and, and get them on the paddock and get ready to go tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to Roosters supporters enjoying the game and supporting the game and, and uh, let's get it on.